Hey guys, welcome back to another Discord.js video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to actually customize the dynamic help command that I've made in, the Octo in October. So this is the help command. If I zoom in, you should see the help command. So it basically shows the category name and then the commands within the category. Okay, so I'm going to teach you guys how to actually add an emoji in front of the command, um, the, ca the category of the commands. And I'm going to show you guys how to hide the, hide the category from the help command. And lastly, I'm going to show you guys how to hide a command inside the, um, hide a command inside the help command. Hopefully that makes sense. So yeah, let's just hop right into it. We will start from here. So you see here, find this, um, const commands, you can command the map, find this. Okay. Instead of mapping it first, we're going to filter it out. So just add a dot filter. Okay, and then we're going to filter out command as well and pass in an arrow function. Okay, and then we can just copy the same thing over here. Let's copy this. So what we're going to do is we're going to check if it has a hidden property. So let's say um, you want it to be hidden, so just do hidden true. If you don't want it to be hidden, just leave it blank. So you don't need to write this at all. Just leave it like that and then it should show up in your help command. So just if you want it hidden, just make it like this. Hidden equals true, and then um, and then we're gonna write the, we're gonna return, and we're gonna do an exclamation mark, file dot hidden, and then um, we're just gonna return that. Okay, and then it should hide the command. Um, let's just try this out. So let me just restart the bot. So currently I have. A few commands so let me just show you i have four commands so currently binary is currently i don't know why am i saying currently so many times but binary is hidden so it shouldn't show up in the help command so let's just test this out okay as you can see here binary is actually not shown in here so let me just demonstrate it if i change it to false or actually i can just remove the whole line okay if i remove the whole line and I restart the bot and I do Y help okay as you can see your binary reappears um, in the utils folder okay so now um, I'm going to cover on how to hide a category so for this to work um, all you need to do is actually uh, right below this deer okay so let's just say if deer is equals to a certain name so if you want to hide info or utils, let me just hide utils, just do return, okay? Or actually, you can actually uh, make a, you can do like something like this, const um, ignored um, categories equals array, okay? You can just, if you only have one category, you can just do this. Or if you have multiple categories, okay, you can do this. So let me just show you, um, you can do like utils and info okay and then all of this will be ignored so to ignore just go if ignore okay ignore categories so includes dear you're gonna return okay and then um let's just try this out so let ignore both i don't know what will happen but let's just try this out it shouldn't send any um anything okay as you can see both of these uh categories are now hidden so let's say i want to show info so let me just remove info from the hidden categories okay and i restart the bot um let's just restart the bot okay and then if i do y help it should show the info category only as you can see here it only shows the info category so that is the second um how to hide your category done so lastly we're going to touch on the how to um basically add a emoji in front of your category name to make it look cooler okay so let me just um delete all of these unnecessary stuff and then yeah we can get right into it so for this we're actually going to create a object so um we're going to define the object right here right below let categories you're just going to do const um directories dear emojis let me just dear emojis equals to object okay so for the object you're actually gonna pass in the 
um, category name. So let me just say info, as you can see your info, I'm going to pass in info and then you're going to put in your emoji name. So let me just put info, I'm just going to put something like newspaper or something. Okay. So if you're wondering how I did this, just do Windows key plus, um, if you click Windows key and the dot, uh, the period simultaneously, you will uh, be able to access this panel over here. Okay. So for info, I'm, I want it to be a newspaper and then for the utils folder, okay, I want it to be a, um, let me think, I'll just make it like something like a tool, tools, tool, um, Okay, let me just make it like that. Okay, for this to work, we're just gonna define const dear um edited name equals to template intro. Okay, you're gonna pass in the dear emojis first. Dear emojis, square records dear, and then we're gonna make a space in here, and then we're gonna put pass in the dear, and then we can just do two uppercase to make it looks uh a little better. Okay, so in and then we're gonna scroll down about in here you should see the data equals object so instead of making it dear to uppercase just delete this over here just change it to edited name editor name okay so it's gonna instead of getting this directory a name we're gonna actually get the edited name so let's just try this out um no dot Okay, so if I do Y help, it will actually show the um uh, uh the emoji and also the category name. So if you want this to be a little more spacey, you can just add a few space over in your editor name. You just you can just add a few spaces like that. Okay, um, uh, it's also formatted, but yeah, it shouldn't matter. Okay, you add a few spaces, but I'm just gonna keep it like this. Okay. And then, um, yeah, I think that should conclude today's video. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. I really worked hard on my videos. Make sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel out if you face any errors. Feel free to join the support server. Links will be in the description. Other than that, have a nice day. See you again next video. Bye.